The Dubai Autodrome is hosting the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East. It's a race weekend full of action, drama and surprises. Thousands of spectators gather around the track for the second race of round two. All teams are determined to gain maximum points for the championship. Teenage driving star Zayed Ashkanani from Kuwait finds the perfect racing line in qualifying and celebrates his first pole position of the season. Yeah, I'm pushing to the element, so yeah. <laughs> Second on the starting grid is champion Clement Schmidt of Al Nabuda Racing. Saudi Falcons Abdulaziz Al Faisal is on third. Right after the start, Clement Schmidt manages to overtake the young Kuwaiti, but the race has to be aborted due to an early accident. This proves to be the most exciting one of the early season with countless position changes and daring maneuvers. The first lap after the restart sees Ashkanani keeping his lead and Faisal bin Laden suddenly finding himself on second position before falling back to ninth. The stuff I did the mistake and uh, I locked three it. And uh, after that, I couldn't get it back to, uh, to where it is. Christina Nielsen from Denmark fights her way through traffic and battles for a top five finish against Team Bahrain's Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Faisal bin Laden and Hubert Haupt of Million Racing. Really good drivers, really strong drivers who uh, put up a good fight. Nielsen manages to stay ahead, finishing fifth. Zayed Ashkanani feels the pressure from Austrian Clement Schmidt throughout the whole race. Tried to overtake him in the last round. The Austrian comes closest to a pass in the final lap, but Ashkanani closes the door. Stays ahead and wins the race. Congratulations to him. He won the race, he was quick. That's crazy. Abdulaziz Al Faisal of the Saudi Falcons finishes third, celebrating his first podium finish of the season. It feels good to be back. Um, Qualified on third, finished third, can't complain. Hasha Al Maktoum of the Skydive Dubai Falcons reaches a very respectable fourth position in front of his home crowd. Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa finishes on sixth. It was uh, quite an eventful race. The next round of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East will take place at the LaSalle International Circuit in Qatar. Stay tuned for more action from the purest racing series in the Middle East.